we have a triangle and there's a gram placed at each one of these vertices. So we're asked to figure out what the center of mass of this whole thing is. And we know the mass is three here. Let's remember what that would look like. So x com equals, we need a uh, m1 times the x1 vector here, plus the m2 and the x2 vector here. And then uh, we can get another mass and your third vector here. We have to divide this whole thing by the total mass at the end. Let's go ahead and try to do this. We would basically just say, uh, well, there's one times the one one position and then there's also another one here times the seven one position and another one here there's three seven here so this would simply be equal to 11 on top and then nine on the bottom and then that's what we divide by three so we could figure out that the x column for this initial thing it's just going to be 11 over 3, and then the next coordinate would be 3. So that's the position for the original triangle. However, in the second part, we're asked to distribute an extra 6 grams um, throughout this thing in order to make the x column of the final triangle is um, 3, 3. So if we were going to add 6 grams, we would know that the total mass in the end, the total mass would just be nine grams, right? Because we have three plus six gives us nine. So that's kind of what we would divide at the end. But, um, you know, let's set up that equation here because this would be the answer to this whole problem. So we would set that equal to, uh, we don't really know what M1 is, um, but we do have the position, so we'd be one, one. And then we don't know what M2 is. But we do know it's 7, 1, and then uh, we don't know M3, but we do know that it's uh, 3, 7. And then here, you would basically take a big parenthesis and divide this by the 9 over here. So let's just go and multiply that to the other side, giving us 27 over 27 here on this thing. And then um, that would be equal to, uh, well, I'm going to get rid of these M's for now, but it's just going to be like 1, seven and three and then that would be one one seven now we're close to making a uh kind of a matrix here this obviously would go on to the other side and let's realize we have one last piece of information the total mass is going to be m1 plus m2 plus m3 which is going to be equal to nine and that is going to be the final equation that we can put in here to give us the uh the uh, three by threes because you know if you put nine over here it would be equal to you know, one m1 one m2 and one m3 so that would just be these coordinates here so let's go and put this back on the other side over here and make this uh an actual matrix and then try to solve it so here's the matrix that we're trying to solve i just went ahead and put the one 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 and nine on the top row so that way uh, we could just start subtracting things we got minus one minus one minus one and minus nine on that row and uh, heck, we could even do it on this row at the same time because it's not going to cause too much chaos. And here we're just going to get like a zero, zero. This will be a six. This will be a zero. This turns out to be two. This turns out to be six. This one becomes 18 and this one becomes 18. Now we can see that we can just divide this row by six. And that will just give us one and a three here. Then we could subtract the 2 from there and 6 from there, giving us 0 and 12. And then we could subtract 1 and 3 to get 0 and 6. And uh, then we can divide this row by 6, giving us a 1 here and a 2 here. Subtract the 1 from this row here and uh, here, subtract 2. So then that will be the end and we've got our final answers here. Let's see if we can rewrite that one more time. That's just going to be 1, 0, 0, 4, and then 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, 1, 3, and we should have our three answers, bam, giving us this coordinate, 4, 2, and 3. But keeping in mind uh, that this is supposed to be equal to those masses, right? So, um, you know, 4 is equal to M1, but the thing is, Remember that we already had a gram. We're trying to add 
How much did we add here? We actually just added three. So we added three because we had a gram already, you see? And in the second one, uh, you know, if two equals M2, we actually just added one in order to get that. And over here in this section, three is M3, but we added two in order to get that. So we added a total of six over here.